Well, Pope Francis is now on U.S. soil. The Pope landed at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland just a short time ago, his arrival marking the very first time he's ever visited the United States. And over the next six days, Pope Francis will visit three American cities and make 16 different stops. There are Catholics all across the country eagerly hoping to see the Pope for themselves, some making the pilgrimage from the Tampa Bay area. Jennifer Lee joining us now live from the nation's capital with a look at one local seminarian's journey. Yeah, Keith and Stacey, this is a pretty cool story. While much of the world watches from a distance as Pope Francis makes his first ever U.S. visit, Kyle Bell, a local seminarian, a man studying to be a priest in St. Petersburg, he's going to get to be face to face with the Holy Father at a special mass here in D.C. tomorrow. Kyle Bell is on a path to priesthood. A little over four years ago, I felt an intense tugging in my heart uh, to, to enter the seminary and to discern the priesthood. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The 31-year-old grew up in Tampa and now serves at Nativity Catholic School in Brandon while he continues his seminary studies. His work in the Bay Area will go on a brief hold, though, while he and 25 other seminarians from the Diocese of St. Petersburg visit Washington, D.C. and attend Mass offered by Pope Francis. We, we call each other brother. You know, and so it's like a big family of brothers going to see dad, <laughs> you know, a famous dad. The whole notion of seeing the Pope in person, he admits, is pretty extraordinary. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> and for good reason. Pope Francis is magnetic in a way that has clearly captivated the world, but also those who hope to, in even some small way, follow in his footsteps. He's so relatable. Uh, he's so down to earth. And so I think... Christ-like is a perfect uh, way to describe uh, this pope. Kyle and his fellow seminarians, not just from the Bay Area, but from all over the U.S., will see Pope Francis at the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in D.C. He's, he's our pastor, he's our shepherd, and as one who is preparing to be a pastor and a shepherd, uh, a future priest, um, I, I'm looking forward to observing him. And Kyle tells me he is very excited about this opportunity, but he also feels a pretty large amount of pressure to just absorb as much as he can from this experience because he appreciates how unique this opportunity really is. Keith? Jen, last night during your story about uh, Bishop Lynch, the head of the Diocese of St. Petersburg, uh, you were talking about his decision to send Kyle and 25 other local seminarians to D.C. for this opportunity. He obviously thought this was very important for them. Uh, without question, and that's because Pope Francis is a man who really lives his convictions. He isn't just someone who is preaching a message. He lives by example. And Bishop Lynch really thought that it was important for these young future priests right from the Bay Area to come here and see firsthand a leader living what he preaches. Yeah, the brothers getting a glimpse of dad mm -hmm. in Washington along with you. Thank yep. you, Jen Lee, reporting live from Washington tonight. And a reminder, we have more in-depth coverage of the Pope's visit to America on our free News Channel 8 app. We will have complete coverage all this week as America welcomes Pope Francis. Jennifer Lee will be following every step of the Pope's journey, and she will share this historic trip with you during every newscast here on News Channel 8 this week.